Hiya, my name is Pete and today I'm going to show you how to play Things Behind the Sun by Nick Drake. This is my first Nick Drake tutorial, hopefully it won't be my last. I have to give credit where it's due to Josh Turner for doing a rather amazing cover of this song and if you haven't checked that out you need to go and have a look. I will put a link in the description. So um, yeah, let's get stuck straight in with this. The tuning is standard with a capo on the 4th fret. So if you want to check that on a tuner, it should sound like this. G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, B, D sharp, and G sharp. So, um, the introduction then. We're starting in what looks like an A minor position, but I take my index finger off, so I'm fretting strings 4 and 3 on the 2nd fret with um, middle finger on the top and ring finger underneath. So I'm plucking the 5th string twice with my thumb and then 4, 3, 2 together with index, middle and ring. And then thumb, 1, thumb, thumb, like that on strings um, 5 and 4, pull 4 and 3, 2 together, into bar 2, so you've got that bum bum pull, bum 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 pull, bum 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 pull, and then at the end of the second bar you've got 10 semiquavers, where you've got this pattern going on. So I do 5-4-5 five, five, using thumb, index, thumb, and then I'm going to use my ring finger on the second string and my middle finger on the third string, and, and I've got my thumb stroke, ring, thumb, middle, thumb, ring, thumb, middle, like that. So my ring finger and my middle finger are sticking to string 3 and 2, and my thumb is working Six, four, six, four. Um, no, five, four, six, four. It's better. So bar two looks like this. And I've deliberately kind of kept my index finger out of the picking on that because um, I used I used my index when I did the pull there, and I also want to get that alternating feel. my thumb and I, I don't want to sort of have to try and switch my think my hand position from having my fingers covering strings four three and two as they have been for the first um, bar and and will do again in um, bars three and four so that's why I've used my, my middle and my ring on that hand and not my index and middle so first two bars And nothing moved on my left hand there, I just stayed in that same position. And then into bar 3, now you're going to put your index finger onto the 2nd string 1st fret to create a traditional A minor shape. And then again, thumb, thumb, pull 4 and 3, 2 together, 5, 4, 5, 5, 4 and 3, 2 together. Take your left hand off and you're going to hammer open 5th string to 2nd fret, use your middle finger and then we're into the 4th bar and as you're going into the 4th bar as you're going into the 4th bar you're going to put your um, index finger on the 
the first fret of the third string. So bar three and four looks like this. Hammer six six. And this is from this point onwards. Your, th your thumb is going to be used on virtually every uh, every quaver. So in bar four, I've got. That's what's happening with the thumb. So thumb, thumb, thumb and pull. Five, four, thumb, thumb on six. Pull, five, four. So bar three and four. Hammer on. And then again, take your left hand off and we're going to go open six first fret on the sixth string with your index finger and put your ring finger on the fifth string third fret so basically you're you're creating a, a very broken F chord so that's your F chord like that except I'm doing that so index finger onto the first fret this is bar five and then ring finger, third fret, fifth string, and pull four, three, and two with your fingers as you do the thumb stroke. And then we've got five, four, five, th uh, three, five, four, five, three, five, four. And that's using thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, like that. that slowly and then into the sixth bar I'm coming out of that F chord shape by plucking the sixth string first fret to open and then you're going to fret the fifth string and the third string both on the second fret with ring uh, sorry index and ring so sixth to open, pluck um, five, four, three, two together. Five, four, open six string twice. Pull five, four, three, two again, and then a hammer on to open second on the fifth string. Then you're going to take your ring finger off and put your index finger on so from there to there and this is third string first fret it's a bit like an E major chord but without your ring finger like that so bar seven six six five four three two together five four six six and then three two one five four to finish So bar six and seven you've got hammer on, move your index finger. So that whole introduction through slowly sounds like this. Now a lot of those shapes are going to come up again as we look at the structure for the for the verse and the the chorus sections. So um, into the verse then you've got that same sort of A minor shape. Please beware of them that stare the lonely smile to see you while your time away.
So all of those shapes and patterns have cropped up in the um, in the introduction. Um, I think the only thing that's a bit different is in bar. Um, I think it's bar eleven, where we've got that. The transition from the shape where your ring finger's on the second fret, third string, to being on the first fret of the third string takes place in the space of a bar, not two bars. Um, so you've you've had that broken F, sixth row, uh, sixth string, first fret to open, four three five four three two together, and then change your index finger position. Once you've seen what they have been to win the earth, just won't seem worth your night or your day. Who'll hear what I say? Okay, that bit's different. So let's look at the tab on that. And um, this is bar 16, 17 and 18. So after you've had that broken F shape towards the end of the, the um, first half of the first verse there's all these hammer-ons so we're doing fifth string to second fret hammer-on open sixth string and you're also as I do that hammer-on I've put my ring finger second fret third string ready okay so hammer-on six five four three two Hammer on six, five four three two. Hammer on six, five four three two. But switch from ring finger to index finger, third string, first fret. So switch. Hammer on six, four three two one. Hammer on. Oops. Hammer on six, five four three two. Open six string. So we've got hammer on six, pull, hammer on six, pull, hammer on six, pull, hammer on six, four, three, two, one, hammer on six, pull, six, like that. I'll try and play it slowly but get the rhythm right. Um, transition but there takes you into the chorus take your time and you'll be fine say a prayer for people there who live on the floor okay so a lot going on there you're gonna start in the chorus with a bar shape on strings four three and two so this is like an A major shape now. You've had, you've had the A minor through the verse, now you've got A major through the chorus. But we're going to do it by barring. So get your thumb in the middle of the neck behind the second fret above capo and press down with your index finger on four, three, and two. Okay. And we're doing two strokes on the fifth string. Pull four, three, and two together. And then and this is another thing I found difficult learning here, is you're going to do repeated plucks of the same string, but alternate with your thumb and your index finger. So we've got thumb, one, thumb, thumb, like that, all on the fifth string. So thumb, one, thumb, thumb. So I suggest you practice that without even changing the chord shape. Thumb one thumb thumb pull, 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 like that. So uh, this is bar uh, 19, here we go. So thumb, thumb, pull, thumb, 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 thumb. You're gonna pull four, three, two, and together, but you're gonna put your middle finger, second fret, 
um, sorry, middle finger, third fret, second string, and ring finger, fourth fret, third string. Like that. Now, if you find that you keep deadening your second string with that ring finger like that, then you can rock your index finger out of the bar, but keep pressing down the fourth string, second fret. So you've got... Now at the end of bar 20, there's a subtle change in that chord I just pulled there. So in bar 19, the ring finger is there on the third string, fourth fret. But in the 20th bar, it's on the fourth string, fourth fret, there like that. And I think on my cover of this song, I, I didn't realize that was going on. I spotted that afterwards, so. Take your time, take your time and you'll be fine And say a prayer for people there who live on the... Okay, so um, into bar 21 then. Um, you're going to do an open 6th string and you're going to drop into a full C chord shape. Now C, C chord is typically like that um, with your ring finger, 5th string, 3rd fret, middle finger, um, fourth string, second fret, and index finger, first fret, second string. But I find the chord to be much richer if you put your little finger on the on the third fret of the sixth string. Now you you can, if it's preference, you can do it like that with your ring finger above the little finger. It's whatever's most comfortable. I've just kind of learned it like that because um, the way I play an F chord is, is like that. I should probably do it like that. I need to learn that. Right, so um, yeah, 20th, the 21st bar, open sixth string, third string. Here comes the rain. So open sixth string and drop into that C shape. So two thumb strokes, open on the third fret and pull four and three, two together, five, four, six, and then take off your index and middle and pull um, four, three, two again. So put them back on again and then pull four, three, two, six, four, like that. So that's the second half of bar 21. So the whole of bar 21 is like this. And then into bar 22, sixth string on the third fret again, and then put your thumb over the top on the second fret. So you've gone from there to there, and now I'm going to put my index finger on the first fret second string and my middle finger on the second fret third string. Like that. So I've got, and then again, five, four, six. Take your index finger off and put it back on again. So that chorus um, 19 through 22, the repeated section, repeated and 
And then we're into bar 23, which should seem familiar. It's the broken F shape again. And then again, the hammer on. And that's exactly the same as bars 17 and 18, so I won't go through that again. And then you're into the uh, the verse again. Um, can't remember the second verse. Where does that start? Uh, oh yeah. Don't be shy. You learn to fly, and you see the sun when the day is done. If only you'll see just what you are beneath the star that came to stay one rainy day in autumn for free. Yes, be what you'll be. So there's that instrumental bit that follows the second verse, and it's slightly different. It's very similar to the, the chorus picking pattern, but some of the bass notes are taken out, so it's a bit more compressed, um, best way to describe it. So we're looking at bar 26 here. So again, you're in that bar shape, and this time you're going to do two bass notes and then that bar shape, but instead of going before the, the next chord pull, you just do three notes, so da, 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 pull straight away, da, 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 pull again, da, 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 pull again, open, fifth string, one more pull, da, 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 like that. So those two bars again, that is 26, 27. Fifth string, pull, da, 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 pull, pull. And it's that same bar, pull with the ring finger on the third string fourth fret, bar, pull with the ring finger on the fourth string fourth fret. So first time round that one, second time round that one. Hang on. So bar 27, um, towards the end you've got pull, uh, sorry, 5, 4, 3, 2 together, 5, 5, 6, and again it's thumb index and then thumb again on the 6th string. And then into bar 28. And it's a bit like when you dropped into the C shape in the chorus picking, where you had that. Except because we already played an open sixth string at the end of the previous bar, we're straight into two plucks of the sixth string fretted on the third. So six, six, four, three, two, pull, five, four, six, open up four, three, and two, back into the C shape. Six, four to finish that bar. And then uh, 29 is as before. And then that pattern repeats. And then again into that broken F shape. I think um, within these um, instrumental sections, I only pluck strings four and three as I'm as I'm making my way into the. Then we've got the hammer-ons. And then you are into the, the second verse. Please beware of them that stir the lonely smile to see you while you time away. And 
Once you've seen what they have been to win the earth Just won't seem worth your night or your day Who'll hear what I say? Open up the broken cup, let goodly sin and sunshine in Yes, that's today Open wide the hymns you hide and find renown while people frown At the things that you'll say Repeat that pattern But say what you'll say Now then, this bit at the end where he's going into um, about the farmers and the fun I, I simplified down the, the picking pattern a bit here because um, it's, it's, I'm not sure if it's a, a kind of a sombre end to the song or not, but it it just seemed less agitated than the picking and through the rest of it. So this is labelled section E on the tab and it is bar 33 onwards. Um, so we have, um, it's basically like your broken F shape, but with a simpler pattern. So open sixth string to first fret, uh, ring finger, fifth string, third fret, and pluck five four three five four two plucks of the sixth string five four three five four like that and then five I'm uh, sorry six string to open and then you've got that um, broken E sort of a broken E shape I think it is of some description 2nd fret, 5th and 3rd and then move your ring finger to your index finger on the 2nd to 1st fret, 3rd string and then again that pattern just keeps repeating through each of the last 6 lines the farmers and the fun and the things behind the sun and the people around your head who'll say everything's been said and the movement in your brain sends you out into the rain So yeah, as as I came out of that um, just to finish it off, I dropped into that um, familiar hammer on pair of bars. It's labelled um, thirty um, thirty six and thirty seven on the tab. And then the last two bars just to finish. So fifth string twice, bar on the second fret, four, three, and two, three notes on the fifth string, and then you've got that two, four, three shape, second fret, fourth fret, third fret, three more notes on the fifth fret, on the fifth string, and move that ring finger, third string to fourth string, fourth fret, three more notes, and then bar okay I think we're pretty much done there there's there's quite a lot going on but um, I, I felt this was um, certainly a song that, that advanced my playing and, and um, I've, I've learned a lot of songs and worked out a lot of different um, picking techniques and percussive thumb slaps and all sorts. But with this song, I still found things that I, I wasn't familiar with and um, uh, weren't in my wheelhouse, if that's the right phrase. Um, and I feel I've got those now, that sort of repeated, that 
repeated picking on the same string and, and just kind of um, yeah just there's, there's stuff in there that I think is of value so um, put some time in with it and add it to your arsenal of learned songs and I will hopefully see you again in the not too distant future with some shaky grapes I'll see you next time bye for now <laughs>